Hi, beauty activists. We're here again with Sonia, and we're going to be retouching her color. She already has the color that we want in there. So the top half of her head is blonde, and it's going to be just a bleach and tone. And the bottom half of her head is actually going to be a darker color, which we have colored to her natural. It's faded since then, so we will be recoloring it. But I'll show you how to section this out so you can do this and apply the color in a really clean fashion and so that we can get her color looking amazing. Here is her hair all sectioned out. We're ready to apply the color. So the key is that you want to have clean sections so that when you're applying the color, it's not going to get messy because we want to make sure that the lightener on the blonde is not touching any of the hair that we want dark and that we don't want any of the color that's going to be on the dark touching any of the blonde. We have the blonde and the dark divided and then what we did because the blonde is quite a bit of hair we just have it divided in half on the top and then we just have her fringe section out on its own because that's just going to be easier to do quickly first before we move on to the side sections. We are going to start in the front fringe section and we are going to carefully apply the lightener only to the new growth of the hair. You want to be very careful not to overlap any of the lightener onto the previously lightened blonde ends. Because it's so blonde already, it doesn't need to be lightened out anymore and we want to prevent over-processing of the hair. This is very key when you have clients that are bleached to the root because you do not want to sacrifice the integrity of the hair. So every time they come in, if you were to paint over onto the previously lightened blonde, you would see the integrity of the hair continue to become more damaged and more damaged. So be very, very clean and only color the lightener on the new growth. Now let's move on to the side sections of the blonde. What I did with this whole half a section of the head is that I actually split that into half so that we're going to be working in quarter sections. That just gives us more control and again just keeps everything very organized and clean. We have the lightener all applied now to the top half of the head. We can just clip it out of the way so that we don't have to worry about it anymore. You can see how it's very clean and we don't have anything touching the dark on the bottom. Now we're going to be moving on to the dark half on the bottom of the head. We are going to make sure to use a comb to make a very clean application of the color. We're going to start by applying at the back, very bottom of the nape. And we're going to be doing diagonal sections and coloring the root first. So we're going to make sure that all the roots are covered. We have no spots missing. Afterwards, it's very easy for us to go through and color the ends. You can go through in the same fashion and... Take sections using your comb and color the ends with the same color. We're going to place it onto a foil so that the color is not getting Sonia's back all dirty. Whenever doing a color, I always start in the back and I work my way forward because once you get to the front sections, you're able to now pull it back so that all the hair is in the back here on that one foil that we had protecting her back. It keeps it very organized and very clean. And again, we don't have to worry about color being all over the place. We have her color all applied now. We are going to just allow it to process for the full amount of time. We're going to check the blonde. Once it's ready to rinse out, then we will go do that and tone the hair. We have Sonia now at the sink. We can see her blonde looks really, really great. We have it to the perfect color that we want, a pale yellow. So now we're ready to rinse out. After being rinsed out, we have applied the toner now. What we use to tone the hair is a half 8P and half 10P in the Matrix color sink. 
the pains of wearing white with no apron. I got color on my shirt, so there's a little bit of hairspray on there so the color doesn't oxidize. But here is Sonia's hair all done. Look how fabulous this blonde looks. Super clean color. Uh, the blonde looks amazing with the dark underneath. It's also a lot easier for Sonia to maintain because it's a quick job in the salon rather than what we were doing with foiling her entire head. Try this look out for yourself, guys. Leave any questions or comments below. I will get back to you right away. Make sure you go check out our products at Naven.com. If you want to win free products, go to Naven.com slash giveaway. We do product giveaways every single month. Other than that, beauty activists, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We put out videos every Friday. We love you. We adore you. Thanks for being a part of our community. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye.